أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين برحمةك يا رحم الراحمين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفكر القول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I just wanted to deliver a message to former Prime Minister Imran Khan I have been your supporter and I am a well-wisher for your forthcoming election. But Khan Saab, I wanted to tell you that you need to start focusing on the mistakes that you made during your previous tenure and be well prepared for this upcoming tenure. Because we have to accept the fact, you have to accept the fact that you failed terribly. You weren't prepared you were not able to implement uh, the ideas and concepts and things required to really bring Pakistan back on its feet where it needs to be. So we all know there were other forces involved and I will be, ad I will be addressing them as well. But you have to focus on what needs to be done and start doing your homework now. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on your side but will never always be and i would like on a personal note i would strongly suggest you to pay more attention in like you know inwardly and see where you went wrong who did you wrong who you trusted who, who, you know whom you shouldn't have trusted learn from your mistakes you always give us lessons on uh like you know soul searching and positivity and like you know all the positive things sometimes we have to look inwardly and analyze our own actions and see where we went wrong because we're all human beings we all make mistakes but the difference between the foolish ones among us and the intelligent ones among us is that like you know intelligent people learn from their mistake and try not to repeat them whereas foolish will keep on repeating their mistake over and over and over again will never learn from it so I am going to be supporting you in uh, this upcoming election. And inshallah, I'm very positive that the victory will be uh, yours. But you have to be well prepared. Get rid of those drama creators and like, you know, those uh, attention grabbers in your party. Yes, you need them, but then to a certain extent. Allah is haq. His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is haq. His message, Quran, is haq. So if you stand with Haq and you do your due diligence solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will be succeeded. And now my message is for Mr. Bajwa. What the hell are you doing? What have you done to our nation? We, we all know what's going on. Just because of your ego or your personal reasons, whatever they might be, at the cost of entire nation, you know, what you did, do you even realize what you have caused? Do you even realize what you have done? Do you even remember that you have to die and you have to stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where there will be no secrets? There's an ayah. To Allah alone belongs everything that's in the heaven and on the earth. Whether you hide or disclose your innermost intentions, remember, Allah will hold you accountable for them. He subhanahu wa ta'ala then will forgive whoever he wants to forgive and will punish whoever will, he wants to punish. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. And Allah is powerful over everything. So please, I personally request you to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek forgiveness for what you have already done. And start putting things in the right place. Do what is required and needed to be done to get the country back on its feet. The damage has already been done to an extent where it's almost irreparable. But inshallah, 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 subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we do the right things right now, solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
He will bless our efforts and we will soon, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, be able to get out of this situation. But you must do it right. Remember, 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 our days are counted. Nobody knows when who's going to die. Maybe I'll die before you, but you're much older than me. And you're much closer towards death. What if you die tonight? Where your ego goes? What face are you going to show to your rub? Have you ever thought of that? Just think about it. Wake up a couple of nights at the Hajjah time by yourself in your isolation with your Lord, with your Rabb subhanahu wa ta'ala and think about what you have caused. There's a whole nation suffering from whatever decision you've taken with your selected team. Again, we respect and love our armies, but they're not responsible for it. You are. You and your team. We all know. Come on. This is... No old age where nobody knows what's going on. Your illicit agendas behind closed doors. We're all aware of it. We're all willing to let go of them. Only if you set things right now. Please, please, please. I hope my message finds you in, a, in an illuminated state of mind where, you know, it penetrates some positivity into it. And you take some heed from it and do what needed to be done. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.